morning dear students today we are going to do another practical uh, that is blood group identification how we can understand uh, what is our blood group that is mainly based on the presence of certain proteins in the plasma membrane of rbc and those proteins are called antigens those proteins are called antigens and in that person's plasma uh, they will present antibodies so antigen and antibody these are the main factors that help us to understand the blood group and the test to determine your blood group and that test is called abo typing abo typing then uh, let's have a look through different blood groups how many blood groups are there a group is there b group is there a b group is there and o group is there how they differ what are the uh, antigens and antibodies present in all these blood groups let let's have a glance through that first uh, a blood group a blood group as uh, uh, it is having that uh, it, it is represented by the alphabet a the same beats antigen antigen a then uh, coming to uh, b blood group as its alphabet is b then antigen also b b then a b blood group as uh, it possesses two alphabets a and b its antigen is a and b and coming to the o as there is no a no b very easily we can uh, we can remember that there is no antigens then coming to antibody uh, antigen and antibody antigen and antibody they are antagonistic uh, factors they they actually fight each other suppose if it is uh, fire this will be the water so fire and water cannot stay together that we need to understand so if a uh, if a rbc that rbc contain the antigen a then it is not possible to keep antibody b in that uh, same person's plasma look to next blood group here the blood group is b and uh, that person's rbc possesses the antigen b so here uh, only possible antibody is anti antibody a and coming to here both antigens are present so it is not possible the, the it is not possible to keep or exist uh, both type of antibody antibody a or antibody b so maybe uh, persons didn't have any antibody that means didn't have any weapon so uh, it is the universal recipient recipient okay then coming to o blood group we have seen that there is no antigens and as there is no antigens it is possible to have two types of antibodies okay so that's about different blood groups and its antigens and anti d then who uh, discovered this abo blood group system uh, it is discovered by carl landsteiner who discovered carl landsteiner discovered the abo blood group system next let's go and see how uh, we are uh, determining the blood group here for example we took ab blood group as ab blood group we know that here which will be the antigens antigens b a and b both antigens are present here and there is no antibodies this is the condition and for determining the blood group we need anti seras anti sera a anti sera b and anti sera d anti sera a contain antibody b anti sera b so sorry 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 anti sera a contain 
antibody A and sera B contain antibody B and sera D contain antibody D. Okay. And uh, we are adding each drop of this antisera to the blood drop taken in a slide that is labeled labeled slide labeled as labeled as that go uh, a b and d a is a and is era b is b and is era d is d and is era after adding and mixing each uh, drop with separate separate toothpicks we could see the result here what would be the result? We know that the blood group uh, is AB. AB positive. Okay. Let's see. AB positive. So, as we add antisera A to the first drop, we know that here present both antigens A and B. And by adding this, which antibody is coming to here? A antibody. So, it can uh, interact with this antigen and will result in agglutination. Then, think about next case while adding antisera B. Antisera B, we know that contain the antibody B. So, it will interact with the B antigen and result agglutination. And coming to here, antibody B is coming here and here present antigen A and uh, antigen B and also uh, corresponding to the anti D, there present another antigen. I uh, forgot to mention you about that. That antigen's name is RH antigen. RH antigen. RH antigen. So, as RH antigen is present here then this then this antibody interact with the, this RH antigen and will result agglutination. So okay so what is the uh, role of this RH antigen? If RH antigen is present in one pers person then he be positive. If this RH antigen is absent then that person be negative. So, here we can see the result. So, agglutination. So, agglutination be the result in all the case with respect to each adiceras. Let's uh, start the uh, practical. For that, we need uh, alcohol. Alcohol we need. We need cotton, lancet, slide, uh, three separate toothpicks to mix each uh, drops of blood. Then, adicera A, B and D. Uh, all these uh, things we require for uh, doing this practical. Let's start the practical. First, we need to clean our ring finger with alcohol. And then need to prick it with the lancet after set the required pressure. And uh, then we need to discard the first blood drop. And after that, we need to place a drop each agonist in the point where we marked as A, B, D according to the antisera. And by placing this blood drop, we should be care that, that each spot should not be too much big or too much small. Then after this, we need to add antisera. These are the antisera A, B and D and separate uh, two picks also provided here. And we can add first antisera A to the uh, A marked drop. And while adding, don't touch the tip of the dropper. Otherwise, it will contaminate. And next, we are going to add B antisera. This is B. And next we need to add 
Andisira D. Andisira D. This is Andisira D. We need to add Andisira D. After this, we need to mix each drop with a separate. This is very important. Separate toothpicks to mix the sera with the blood well to get the agglutination. I am taking separate, separate toothpick, toothpick each for each drop. Then after mixing, we need to wait for some time and later we can see the result in this way. Here we can see uh, agglutination with respect to and is D and for A and B there is no agglutination. That means this is O positive blood group. Okay. There is an easy technique for those who find that it is very difficult to think about the principle uh, to determine the blood group. For those ones, I am suggesting some easy technique. Uh, if we got agglutination on adding anti sera to a blood group then that blood group b a similar to that if we got agglutination while adding anti sera b then that blood group uh, will be b okay and in that similar way uh, if we uh, got agglutination while adding both anti sera a and b then that means that blood group uh, will be AB. And we, and if we didn't got agglutination on RD, and is it a A and B, then that blood group be O. So that results are shown here. You can look and understand O group, there is no agglutination with respect to and is it a A and and is it a B. This is B blood group. Here, uh, corresponding to and is it a B only, we can see the agglutination. There is no agglutination. Then we can see in the case of um, A blood group, here, agglutination only with respect to, uh, response to that and is it a A only. Here, uh, with uh, response to both and is it a, we can see agglutination. In this picture, uh, the and is it a D, this case is not shown here. Any, any, anyway, I think that it is clear to you. If anti, and, um, antigen, RH antigen is present, then while adding antisera D, it will, it will give agglutination and we can understood that that blood group is positive. Mm -hmm. There is no agglutination, then that blood group be negative. Clear? If RH antigen is present, then on adding antisera D, it will react and will give agglutination. That means that blood group is positive. If RH antigen is absent, then on adding antisera D, there is no agglutination. Agglutination. And that person be negative. Okay, I think that the uh, entire procedure is clear to you. Everybody understood that. With this, we can finish today's practical hack.